Well, almost 1 million Americans are living with MS, a chronic and unpredictable immune disease. So it is understandable that many are worried about the threat of COVID-19. Dr. Barry Hendon and his patient Crystal are here with more. Thank you so much for being with us. Very good. Thank you for having us. Thank you. I'm happy to have you here. Dr. Hendon, I want to start with you. How has COVID-19 impacted your patients and how you treat them? So the, the some impacts are obvious, and that is that we're using more telehealth. Um, some of it is less obvious, and that is uh, we're having an increased concentration on, on wellness, uh, exercise, diet, uh, not smoking, controlling other issues that look like they are the determinants of bad outcomes with MS, what we call the comorbidities. Uh, the reassuring thing is that people with MS do not look as if they have uh, increased risk of COVID-19 uh, because of their MS, unless there's significant disability. Um, and, and, and it looks as if there is no unique therapy which is uh, uh, to be avoided uh, because of COVID-19. So we find ourselves reassuringly uh, being able to tell our patients that they're not at increased risk and that the medicines we should be using remain the appropriate medications for them uniquely. And can you tell us a little bit more about this new treatment option? Yes, the new treatment option you're speaking of, I think, is Mavenclad. Uh, Mavenclad is a pill. Uh, you take uh, five days uh, uh, one month, five days the next, and then nothing the rest of the year, repeating the following year. It's a short-term therapy with a long-term benefit, as opposed to uh, many of our therapies, which are maintenance uh, therapies and taken on a continuous basis. Uh, we always speak of uh, potentially serious uh, side effects, but we won't use it in pregnancy or women who are about to become pregnant. We won't use it in people with cancer. Uh, and, and we, uh, uh, and we uh, refer them, uh, if there is any uh, worry about uh, risk profile, uh, to a website, mavenclad.com. But I found it to uh, be a, a medication with a, an excellent benefit to risk ratio uh, that uh, has been a, a very happy part of my MS armamentarium. Crystal, how has your experience been with using Mavenclad? I started Mavenclad in 2019. And so my first year, I um, I was excited about starting Mavenclad simply because I didn't have to go to monthly infusions and have a uh, deal with the infusion center. And, and uh, you know, no offense to Dr. Hennon, but not, you know, not seeing my physician every single month was, um, was a, you know, it, it was exciting for me. So the first round, I... I, the first five days, I actually experienced a little bit of GI upset, some tummy issues, which is normal for me whenever I take a new medication, especially a pill. Um, and then the second round, the second uh, year, actually, I noticed a little bit of thinning in my hair. But um, since I've stopped the medication my final year and I, you know, I, I noticed that um, my tummy issues are no longer a problem and my hair is back to being normal um, thickness and I have normal energy again and uh, my MRIs are stable. And so that's really what it, what my, my focus for my treatment is, is that I have the, have a good quality of life, good mobility, and that I'm able to um, continue to have a stable, uh, stable MRI or have less relapses. And can you tell us a little bit more about living with MS day to day? Uh, for me, my day to day with living with MS is, um, you know, I don't really think about it now. Now that I don't have to have a, uh, a medication, I don't have to take a pill every single day. I don't have to take a shot every single day. So I really, um, you know, a lot of what I'm thinking about is just the normal stuff getting my kids to school, working, making sure during this pandemic that we are um, healthy, that we're exercising, that we're eating well, we're washing our hands, we're socially distancing whenever appropriate, uh, you know, wearing masks. So I, I feel like um, even though I have MS, I, I feel like I, I don't really think about it as much as, um, as I did before. And so to me, that's, that's freeing. All right, Crystal and Dr. Hendon, thank you so much for being with us. Really appreciate it. And we'll be right back with more Midday Maryland right after this. Stay tuned.